In this video, we will see the procedure for limit setting of CARE TTM Series 3 Phase Multi-Turn Electric Actuator. Let's take a closer look at the actuator and its components which are used for operation. We have a high torque reversible motor for precise valve control, a terminal box with dual cable entry, a continuous position indicator for real-time monitoring, a hand wheel for manual operation. Now, we will see the detailed procedure for setting the limit switch. First of all, we need to open the cover with the help of an Allen key. Now, let's look at the components which are used for limit setting. Open limit switch. Close limit switch. Open adjustment knob. Career rod and lock pin. Close adjustment knob. Space heater. Mechanical indicator. Torque cam. Torque switch. Manual declutch pin. Manual hand wheel. And motor. We will start with the close limit setting. Before making any adjustments or setting the close limit, please make sure whether the valve is completely closed or not. If the valve is not closed properly, it is needed to be closed first. Locate the pin and pull it out and push the hand wheel inward to engage the hand wheel, then release the pin to lock the hand wheel in place. Now rotate the hand wheel in a clockwise direction. Continue turning until the valve is fully closed. After making sure that the valve is properly closed, now pull the pin and hand wheel will release. We can start setting the limit switch. Firstly, press the lock pin or carrier rod of the counter and set it down by pushing and rotating slightly. This will disengage the counter from the main output shaft of the actuator. Rotate the close adjustment knob in the direction of arrow indication until the close cam presses the close limit switch. Once the close cam presses the close limit switch, Turn and lift the lock pin or carry rod of the counter. After setting the limit, it is very important to lift the lock pin. Set the mechanical indicator. Rotate the closed disc until the symbol for closed aligns with the arrow or pointer indicating the closed position. Ensure the alignment is precise to accurately reflect the closed position of the mechanism. Now, let's move on to setting the open limit. For open limit setting first, we have to operate the valve at open direction. Pull the pinnet out and push the hand wheel inward to engage the hand wheel. Now rotate the hand wheel in an anti-clockwise direction. Continue turning until the valve is fully open. Press the lock pin or carrier rod of the counter and set it down by pushing and rotating slightly. Rotate the open adjustment knob in the direction of arrow indication until the open cam presses the open limit switch. Set the mechanical indicator aligns with the arrow or pointer indicating the open position. Now pull the pin and hand wheel will release. Before start wiring, it's very important to read instructions. Model, motor power, output torque, motor supply, output RPM, motor current, insulation class, motor duty, ambient temperature, motor RPM, contact rating, protection class, serial number. Now for wiring, we need to open the cover with the help of an Allen key. With the cover removed, we can proceed to the wiring connections Check wiring diagram. If not available, then contact a customer service. Let's refer to the wiring diagram. First, replace the end cap with a cable gland. Now, for potential free feedback and analog feedback, connect terminals 8 to 22. And for the space heater, connect these to terminals 23 to 24. And for motor control, connect the wire to terminals 1 to 3. Lastly, for motor power input, connect wires to U, VW, and earthing, like this. Connect wire 1 to terminal 1, which is the common terminal. Connect wire 2 to terminal 2 for the open function. This is the normally closed contact of the limit switch. Finally, wire 3 is connected to terminal 3 for the close function and a normally closed contact of the limit switch. Please make sure all connections are tight and properly positioned for optimal functionality. Now that the wiring is complete, we're ready for the operation. Let's connect the three-phase power supply. Let's check the valve fully open and fully close operation. Now let's move to troubleshooting and comprehensive solutions. Incorrect direction of movement or valve not stopping at the limit command. The valve either moves in the wrong direction or fails to stop at the intended limit. Solution. For both of these issues, simply interchange the wiring. 
swap the V and W phase connections to correct the directional output, which should resolve the issue. Limit setting is done, but the valve is not fully opening or closing. After setting the limit, the valve stops prematurely, remaining in a middle position instead of fully opening or closing. Solution. In this case, you'll need to repeat the limit setting calibration procedure. Ensure that the calibration is done accurately to allow the valve to reach its full open or closed positions. Torque limit setting guidelines. To increase the closed torque limit, rotate closed torque adjustment knob in clockwise direction. And to decrease the closed torque limit, rotate closed torque adjustment knobs in anti-clockwise direction. To decrease the open torque limit, rotate open torque adjustment knob in clockwise direction. And to increase the open torque limit, rotate open torque adjustment knob in anti-clockwise direction. Torque control mechanism had been already set up before the products were delivered from the factory. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to our customer service team. Contact details can be found in the video description. For more information, visit our website at www.kendia.com.